Hello everybody, welcome to Project Eden's Garden. Now, a little backstory on this game. Uh, this is a Danganronpa uh, fan game uh, made by, you know, some members of the, you know, Danganronpa community that decided to make this project. And funny backstory about this. Um, I actually saw this on the casting call and I decided to audition for it. Uh, obviously, I didn't get the role because my audition sucked, but... It's good to know that these guys gave a lot of it and did an amazing job uh, from the looks of it. And um, I'm ready to try it out. So let's go ahead and get started. New game. Uh, yeah, new game. We'll go normal and normal for the action and logic. So let's go ahead and do this. All right. I'm basically playing a new Danganronpa game, but this time it's made by the community, made by fans, so it's very exciting, very exciting. Oh, life has no real meaning. We exist just by chance, born to a planet that didn't want us to begin with. It's up to the best of humanity to give the world a purpose. People like me, those who shine brighter than the others who have an influence on our greater society. Ultimates. We are known as Ultimates. Ultimate titles are awarded to exceptionally talented high school and college students. Doctors who can cure the incurable. Engineers who build machines to improve millions of lives. The most influential politicians. The most creative architects. These are the people who deserve lifelong recognition. Who define what it means to be a true ultimate? I, Damon Maitsu, am the ultimate debater. Ooh, love his voice. A prodigy among prodigies, someone who simply can't be outmatched. Yeah, I remember that was one of the lines that they had. A prodigy among prodigies, someone who simply can't be outmatched. I hold on to my title dearly because it defines me. It's who I am. It's what gives me my purpose. Hmm, I like it. Okay. Now, there's a school worthy of me. Wow, sounds pretty high of himself, huh? Jeez. To Mr. Damon Maitu, the ultimate debater. Congratulations. For your contributions as an ultimate, we cordially invite you to attend the Eden's Guardian... I apologize. We cordially invite you to attend Eden Gardens Academy, a specialized college for academic-based talents. At our unique academy, you will not only develop a tighter grasp on your respective skill set, but you and the other ultimate students who receive this invitation will gain an ever important proficiency at leadership, communication, and persuasion. In an age where anyone can be called ultimate, we hope you will join us and assume your rightful place as the true face of talent. Please keep the contents of this invitation, as well as the attached registration materials, strictly confidential. The integrity of our program is built on the foundation of privacy. Oh, I wonder why that is. Eden's Garden Academy. An ultimate academy for true ultimates. It was built in partnership with the Ultimate Talent Program, a government institution that was awarded ultimate titles to people for almost the last century. You don't apply for UTP schools. They scout for their students, which is how I found myself receiving a letter from the Eden's Garden Academy. It's so weird saying those words, saying like Eden's Garden Academy. It's kind of a mouthful, but <laughs> we'll just go with it. It looks to be an amazing school. Immaculate architecture, incredible workspaces, and access to resources beyond anything I've ever seen. Everything about the school is perfect. It's truly worthy of being called ultimate. In my 18 years of living, I have accomplished more than most people could even dream of. Within this random and chaotic experience, it feels like I was destined to be great. Wow. Pretty high and mighty, aren't you, Damon? After what seemed like hours of waiting, the train arrived before me. It wasn't as nice looking as I expected, at least not for a school of this caliber, but it was undeniably the one. With luggage in one hand and pamphlet in the other, I boarded the train. This is the start of my new life. The start of an even greater career. For the first time in my life, I'll finally be among people as great as me. Wow. Huh? Oh, 
Um. Well, what do you mean, huh? Oh. Ooh, damn, look at all these characters. <laughs> wow, whoa, that guy looks intense. <laughs> Someone else? Hey, hey, welcome to the Eden's Club. Ooh. Well, it's more accurate to say Eden's Garden Academy's Club, but Eden's Club just has more of a ring to it, don't you think? <laughs> sure. In front of me, spread out across the train carriage, was a group of strange looking people. A girl with pink hair, some guy in a wolf costume. You mean that guy in the back? <laughs> One guy with a, in a weird beanie staring intensely at me. What the hell? Are these creepy people really attending the same academy as me? Apathetic to my situation, the train continued from his halt. Looks like I'm stuck here for now. I guess I should find somewhere to sit. Hey, you, new guy. What? Who? Oh, hello, can you hear me? I seem to have caught the attention of one of the other passengers. What do you want? What if... Cool, so um, I was wondering something. Whatever it is, I'm sure you can ask an employee. I'm honestly not in the mood. Wow, jeez. Uh, uh... Oh, um, sure. Frowning and dropping his head, he walked away. <laughs> wow, man, come on, man, be, be sociable. Excuse me, but you don't happen to know when the final stop is, do you? I, I just heard the voice, and that's what I assumed. A girl's voice suddenly chimed in from behind me. Jeez, can people just leave me alone for five minutes? No. Not a clue, but you can try looking for... Oh, whoa. Ain't she something? The words caught in my throat as I, when I turned to look at her. This woman had to be twice my size. Mm -hmm. Hmm, something wrong? Uh, I, uh, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fret, darling. I'll just see who else is around. With a small wave, she walked away. Wow, look at that. The people here just keep getting weirder and weirder. I really hope none of them are in my class. Oh, dude, they're all in the same class as you. Just hate to say it. Hate to be that guy. Not wanting to be bothered any further, I quickly found myself a seat by the window. The situation was nothing like I expected. But at least the view from the train was nice. Mountains framed by a deep blue sky. Crystal clear rivers that sparkle like jewels in the sunlight. It couldn't be a more radical departure from home. Scenery continued to pass. Time flying by with it. The chatter from the others on the train eventually softened. Leaving just me and the rolling mountains. Well, ain't you a, ain't you a conversation starter? <laughs> Nearby, a woman in professional attire turned to her nose up in the... Wait... Nearby, a woman in professional attire turned her nose up to the air and started sniffing. <laughs> After a moment, the expression on her face turned stone cold serious. Something is wrong. The air doesn't smell right. Oh. Huh? The, the air? Hey, I smell something too. Excuse me. Could you describe it? Hmm. Mm, kind of chemically. It's almost like it's coming from that bag over there she pointed to her travel bag at the opposite end of the car oh shoot, oh, shoot. you mean this one right next to me, Let me think. Uh, i don't smell anything funky well that's probably because of the helmet Pardon me. is that your bag Not a nope it was already here when i got on the train weird. hmm that's weird there's no name tag or anything after inspecting the outside of the bag, he began fiddling it with the with its lock pop oh cool you got it open uh, that wasn't the lock. Huh? Are you okay? Yeah, bro. Uh, I'm all good. I just feel kind of... Uh, oh, he fell asleep. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I figured it would... Oh, whoa, jeez. What, <laughs> what a voice. Christ almighty! <laughs> Man, did, did he just pass out? Hi. <laughs> Damn, bro. You already looked. <laughs> you already look. You already looked like he's already been like sleeping. From the same end of the car, the guy who had been staring at me earlier. I'm not feeling so good either. What did you say? Good night. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what the? Uh, people dropping like flies. Oh crap! Someone get help. Uh, let me try the electric conductor or whatever. 
She ran over to the door that connected to the adjacent car. Oh, and it's locked. Wouldn't you know it? It's not opening. Why isn't it opening? Stand back. I want to try my hand at it. Can you step aside for a sec? He yanked at the door, but... Bad news. Damn, the car is locked up as tight as a prison. Huh? But I, I left to take a piss like an hour ago. Uh, let me try something else. The big man rolled his shoulders and threw himself against the door with all his might. He groaned and stepped back, revealing he hadn't even left a mark on the door. Damn, that's a strong door. What? Tut did nothing? There's another boy who's fallen. A girl, too. Oh, jeez, they're all dropping like flies. Why is everyone passing out? Shit. Maybe it's got something to do with that bag we... Uh, the air around me had grown thick with a strange pungent smell. I could taste it. Feel it sting my eyes. Oh, God. No. Uh, don't. As a futile plea left my lips, I felt my strength trail... I felt my strength trail away with it. The world flickered around me and then... There was nothing. We all passed out. Man, the artwork in this one is amazing. Vows woven by stitches and needles. Huh. Man, this is like this is like honest to God a good like Dangarampa adaptation. Like it. Burr burr. <laughs> um Huh? But what is that humming noise? It sounded like an air conditioner. But if it's an air con, why am I so warm? Huh. I weakly opened my eyes. Above me was a concrete ceiling. Huh? A concrete ceiling? My body's so heavy. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> but I had to get on my feet. I had to see where I was. Yeah, where the, where the hell are you guys? Oh, shit. Huh? Oh, it's one of the girls. It's a girl! Wow, good job, Damon. <laughs> Thanks. I, I wouldn't have known otherwise. Could... Could it be that she's... No, she's still breathing. So she's asleep. Just like I was? Whoa, more closer. Kneeling down to her level, I reached out my hand to shake her. Hey, can you hear me? No response. Whoa, more closer. <laughs> I bring my face closer to hers. I repeated the question. Hey, can you hear me? Why isn't she waking up? Damn it. Do I actually have to... Holy... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Damn. And she just, like, opened her eyes, not even, like, with different expression. Her eyes snapped open, causing me to jump back. Hello. I was just testing you. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, cool. Oh. Testing me? <laughs> to see what you would do. It's not every day you find the body on the floor. That's... So you were awake that whole time? Correct. I woke up before you, yes. Oh, well, cool. And she just let me sleep? How long was I out for? Not sure. I don't know. I didn't wake up that long ago. When I first came to, I was also started to see a stranger. You see? One can never know if they're in the presence of a friend or foe. Hmm. Which is why I needed to see for myself how much I could trust you. Be li by lying on the floor and making herself vulnerable? Jesus, she makes no sense. In any case, I do like her. <laughs> Good design. As an excuse to break off the conversation, I started to look around the room. It was definitely some kind of boiler room, but there didn't seem to be a light switch anywhere. The only light came from a vent set far back in the room. Looking at my close surroundings, I was standing on a platform with stairs that led down the rest of the room. The lower floor was mildly flooded. I'd say the water reached a level a little <laughs> I'd say the water reached a little above my ankles. It was a place that had clearly been abandoned for a long time. Mm even with all the strange things around me, my gaze kept returning to this girl. I mean, me too. <laughs> There's something about her that seemed almost familiar. Really? Okay, man. Wait, that's it. She was on the train. She's so familiar. <laughs> Come on, man. She was on the train I boarded. Hey, we've met before. On that train? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just repeated myself. Mm-hmm. These things turn upside down not too not long before after you arrived. Fuck. Mm-hmm. These things turn upside down not long after you arrived. A strange smell started to come from that travel bag and then everything turned black. Right. 
Right. Just, what the hell was that? Listen to me. I think it was a chemical agent. The bank must have been equipped with a gas bomb or something. Someone clearly wanted to knock us out. Sounds like she's been thinking hard about it. Maybe that's why it took her so long to wake me up. I see. Sure, I was thinking the same, but whose bag was it? Why did it want to knock us out? And why aren't we on the train anymore? Where are we? Look at this. Considering our surroundings, some sort of boiler room? Okay, thanks, I knew that. As she raised her hand to push up her glasses, something large and metallic on her wrist caught my eye. Her wristwatch? It looked vaguely like a watch. Yeah, I was noticing that too. Hey, uh, what's that on your hand? Well, you tell me. It appears you have one as well. Huh? huh? Yeah. As those were at those words, I looked down at my hand. <laughs> yeah. What the? <laughs> sure enough, I was wearing the same device. It had been fitted tightly around my wrist, but it felt like I was wearing nothing at all. Damn it. Hey, hey uh, I'm not wearing this. As I grabbed a hold of the device and pulled, a tiny surge of electricity ran through my wrist. Oh, yep. Don't try to take it off. Sorry, I should have warned you. If you try taking it off, it shocks you. Thanks for the heads up. Shit, what's going on here? Why am I wearing this weird shock collar thing? Who put this on me? Look. You can touch the screen, though. Eh? Mm. <laughs> See? Like this. She tapped on the face of the device. It slowly lit up and displayed a holographic image. Oh, so like a watch. Mm-hmm. It's just projecting a blank screen for some reason. So... Either way, it seems we're stuck with this device for the time being. Moving on. Huh, well. While well, you're standing there, the least you can do is give me your name. We didn't have much of a meeting on the train anyway. <coughs> uh, Damon Maitsu, ultimate debater. I'm a student at Eden's Guarding Academy. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Hmm. How interesting. Huh? What is? Mm. Thank you for telling me more than I asked for. Well, <laughs> it's like, oh, shit. As for myself, you may call me Eva Tsunaka. Eva Tsunaka. Huh. It's nice to meet you. I'm sure it is. The pain from the shock was finally subsiding. It's as good as a time, as a good as time as any to get a better grasp of this room. Maybe there's something in here that can explain the flooding. Or even better, that annoying mechanical noise. Welcome to Project Eden's Garden. Yay, we made it past the, the intro. A lot has happened already, and I'm sure you're eager to investigate. But there are some things you should get acquainted with first. The people. To access the trinket, or as Damon would so colloquially call it, put it, the watch, simply press, press the F1 key. To view past dialogue, F2. And to access observation mode, enter key. Okay. Press enter again to exit the mode. Okay. Oh, and use the... Um, to pan around the room. Okay, cool. If you ever need to revisit this information, check out the control panel. Just one F3. Okay, cool. Go forth and explore. All right. All right, so let's see here. So, okay. So what do we got here? Um, oh, we have like these boxes. What's up with this? There might be something useful in this pile of dusty boxes. Hmm, light bulbs, duct tape, a bunch of screws. Nope. There's nothing in here. There's nothing in here but junk. All right. What about this? Oh yeah. Well, let's look at this generator. I think that's what I should have looked at, anyways. There's generator under the vent. Is this what's making the mechanical noise? Seeing it in the water put me in a bit of an edge. I was thinking checking out the window above it, but now I'm not so sure. Okay. Um, might be able to do something here. There's a camera. Huh? Staring at me from the corner of the room was an expensive looking security camera. Had this been recently installed? It seemed better suited for a vault than a crappy boiler room. Interesting. You notice that camera too? Yeah. Yeah, it's really out of it's really out of place. Do you think do you think someone is watching us through it? It doesn't look like it's turned on, so I doubt it. Hmm. I see. Perhaps that's for the best. Huh? What do you mean? If someone is watching us, it's possible they're the same person who put his it's possible that they are the same person who put these wrist straps on us. She makes a decent point. That seemed to be it. The room's too run down for me to investigate anything else. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw Ava approach the pile of boxes and fish out a light bulb. And then without hesitation, plop, she chucked it into the water. Huh? What are you doing? Hmm. hmm. 
All of a sudden, she jumped into the plat off the platform we were standing on it into the water. Seriously? Seriously, what the hell are you doing? Can't you see? Exploring. You're not worried about the generator? Look. Look at the light bulb that I threw into the water. Notice how it isn't flashing? That means the water isn't conductive. Fair enough. I guess she's not worried about getting her shoes wet either. <coughs> okay, um, just give me a second. I took off my socks and shoes and quickly rolled up my pants. Trying to hide my discomfort behind the cool face, I descended my <laughs> stairs into the murky water. Hey, try to act cool for her, man. Come on. The mechanical noise was even louder now. It sounded like it was coming from the direction of the vent. I see. Yep, it definitely must be the generator. Damn. We're lucky the water isn't conductive. Those exposed, wi those exposed wires would be bad news otherwise. Interesting. For such a small generator, it sounds like it's running a lot of power. It's surprising how this noise alone wasn't enough to wake us up. <laughs> Whatever knocked us out of the train must have been really strong. Must have been pretty strong. Anyway, that explained the wearing noise. I wonder where all the power is going to. High up on the wall was the vent. What could be on the other side? Do you want to look through that? Uh, yeah, I do. Alright, I have an idea, but it will take some physical effort. Huh? Like what? Well, like getting on my shoulders. Seriously? I'm not doing that. If you get on my shoulders, it will give you a boost and you can look through the window. Fair. F uh, fair, but... I shouldn't be the one. Shouldn't I be the one giving you a boost? Mm. Hmm. I don't think you can handle it. What? <laughs> Saying that, she she stooped in front of the generator and motioned me to come over. I'm Make sure you tuck your feet behind my back. I waddled over to Ava and awkwardly positioned myself on her shoulders. Are you sure you can do this? <laughs> yep. I'm fine. Just look through the window already. <laughs> Jeez. All right, yep. Well, do you see anything? Yeah, another vent in a room just beyond it. I can't see what's inside the room, though. Both these vents are in the way. Taking a closer look at the boiler room vent, I noticed there were hinges up bolted to the upper corners. Does this mean the vent can be opened? Wrapping my fingers around the grate in front of me, I pulled as hard as I could. Hey, I got it open. Can you see better now? Although the second vent was still obstructed a lot of the room, I was able to make out the legs of tables and chairs. They were pretty fancy looking. It's the floor of some fancy room. We must be in a building with multiple levels. Weird that this vent opens to another room instead of the outside. Huh? Just beyond the chairs, the very corner of the room, there was something peeking out. Oh, what the? Uh, person's legs? I felt my chest tighten. Oh, shit. Is he also passed out? He could be. Or dead. Who knows? Uh, hello? Can you hear me? No response. Damn it. There's gotta be a way inside this room. Ava, uh, can you let me down? Uh, There's someone in there? Uh, I, uh, I think it's a guy. He's lying on the floor and I'm pretty sure he's passed out. He might know something we don't. If we're not there when he wakes up, we might lose him. The room's on the level above ours, you said? Right, which means there must be stairs somewhere. Focus. I have to find them. To leave an area, press the R key. I'll confirm the choice with you just in case you get any second thoughts. All right, cool. Um, F1 was what? Oh, whoops. Okay, well. Uh, sure thing. Uh, let's, let's leave the room then. Are you sure you want to leave? Yes. Let's go. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's find out what this thing is all about. As soon as I was out of the water, I threw my socks and shoes and ran straight to the door. Huh. Upon leaving the room, I was greeted with an equally der derelict hallway. The walls and floor were an old matted color with nothing else to them. No wall decor, no windows, no life whatsoever. However, there was one thing that stood out. At the very end of the hallway, there was a corridor that took a sharp turn. Whoa. Was what looked to be sunlight hitting the wall. Does that mean there's an exit right around that corner? Hang on. Don't go running off without me. Huh? huh? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I've already inspected the rooms in this hallway, so you can just ignore them. Huh? When did you do that? You see? While you were asleep. You weren't waking up despite my best efforts, so I decided to investigate on my own. Hang on. Your best efforts? So... Poking you in the face? Dragging you by the feet? I even bridal carried you at one point. Oh, jeez. 
Not sure I can believe that. Anyway, I haven't checked what's upstairs. I didn't walk too far from where you were lying. Come again. You didn't think to get help? No. You were obviously breathing. Really? That doesn't answer the question. You only started to wake up after I returned from my search. How does that get in the way of finding help? Unless she didn't want to leave me here alone? I can't figure it out at all. On. This floor didn't turn up anything useful, by the way. The rooms were just a bunch of storage closets. Completely dilapidated. Filled with random stuff. Wow. Well, chill out, music. That was the case for every room? It's the truth. If you don't believe me, you can check for yourself. As my great-grandmother's brother's friend motivational scoundrel once said, you can't progress if you don't have the will to move. All right. Uh, keys to walk since you're in a hurry. Hold down shift since you're in a hurry. Okay. So last but not least, proceed with caution. You never know what could be hiding around in the corner. Okay. Why? Why are you warning? Why? Why is that warning? All right. Well, let's go ahead and check them out. I guess. Okay. Storage closet. All right. What's up here? The room was almost identical to what Ava had described earlier. There was no real organization or meaning to anything. It was just filled with completely random crap. Mm -hmm. What did I tell you? I see. It's definitely a messy place. Yeah, that's right. Let's move on now. I should probably listen to her. There was no reason, real reason for me to look inside this room. Especially when we might have found help. Okay. <laughs> I like that look on her. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. Alright, fine. Let's go ahead and walk in that corner. Wait, she's still in that pose. Nope, she's just in a regular pose. Alright. Let's fine, let's go around the corner then. What's in here? Whoa. Some tubery. Hey, chill out music. Jesus, man. Don't scare me like that. 